Hola, welcome to my show. I'm Kevin, and I am deep in a canyon in Los Angeles. And uh, I gotta be honest with you, about five minutes ago, this guy passed me, and he looked just like me. Same hat, same shirt, tall. He's my doppelganger. And I mean, he really looked like me. Sometimes people will say, hey, you got a doppelganger. Come on inside our restaurant. The bartender looks just like you. And I go in there, the guy never looks like me. I don't think, he's got the dark eyebrows, okay, big forehead, back scabs, scoliosis, toe fungus, psoriasis, but other than that, nothing like me. Well, there's nothing like this hike today. I'm glad you're joining me. Put your helmet on, take your protein pills, and why don't we go take a hike? My hiking companion today, off my left shoulder, has been a longtime friend. We first met each other when he was a writer on SNL. Then he went on to write for The Simpsons, and then he hosted his own late night talk show, which was excellent. I've been on it many times. He's only been on my hike, I think, once before. That's okay. That's all right. And now he's hosting a podcast, his own podcast. In fact, he's got a podcast conglomerate. It's incredible. Um, what else can I tell you about him? He's got red hair. Okay, that gave it away. That's right. Today I'm hiking with the brilliant Conan O'Brien. You really didn't want to do this, did you? Well, I'm going to say this. When someone says, hey, meet me really early in the morning uh, for a hike on one of those trails where they always find a body, it's not, the, it's not like you're, yeah. Conan, as you may have noticed, my uh, equipment has been upgraded since the last time we hiked. We hiked in the first season. Yes. And um, you were not in a good mood, if you remember. Not in a good mood. And I remember back then, you used to interrupt people as they were talking. Well, that's the other thing I was going to bring up. Sorry to interrupt you on that one. Uh -huh. But my, uh, my interviewing skills have really improved as a... Uh, they kind of have, have to. They kind of have to. Come, Come on. on, man. Why are you always so mean to me? Well, you're not a good person. Um, my hope is that this time you'll listen. That would be a huge improvement. Well, if you weren't so boring, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. Oh, man. Right? Heart's giving out. No, I'm good. You know, you and I are, as comedians go, excellent in excellent shape. You know? As comedians go, yeah. Yeah, which means we're in terrible shape. Do you find yourself huffing and puffing a lot just going up the stairs? No. Okay. How about going down the stairs? Oh, man, down is rough. Now, we, that's either two joggers or one man chasing another to try and murder him. like to wear shorts? No, I don't. I like to, I'm being honest. I really like to keep my legs covered at all times. And that's also, no one disagrees with that assessment. Everyone is all for me covering my legs at all times. Yeah, because I've seen, I've known you for over like 40 years. Yeah. And I've never seen you with shorts. And I was I don't thinking, wear shorts, no. I was lying in bed this morning. I was mm -hmm. thinking, I wonder why Conan doesn't ever wear shorts. I was lying in bed thinking of you in shorts too. It was, well, it was an erotic adventure. And my answer is this, uh -huh. my, my theory is this, and I don't mean any disrespect to you. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't mean any disrespect. Lay I, it on me, baby. I imagine your legs are super white. Yes. And covered in freckles. Have you, when you open a can of Spam, when was the last time you opened a can of Spam? 1975. Okay, me too. When you open a can of Spam and you look at that sort of, it's kind of whitish, pinkish, on my legs looks like Spam. Uh, let me do a follow-up question, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah, no problem. Uh, and it's, I love the way you announce all your questions first. Well, because you're so sensitive, you know, I have to make sure you're okay with them. Okay. Um, and again, I'm not meaning any disrespect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, which is always the sign that or, a real doozy's coming my way. Go ahead. Okay, here comes the question. Are okay. you ready? Hey, I'm all set. <laughs> I'm Fire away that torpedo, buddy boy. Have you ever counted all your freckles uh, on your body? Okay, now, did you prepare for this interview? Have well, you ever counted your freckles? Was that, a, was that one that made it through I the, uh, I don't need to the gauntlet? I don't need to be like half cards like you do on your show. It's all right here in the head. Right oh, here, really? Buddy. Yeah. You should get some cards. Yeah. <laughs> you should get a bunch of cards. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Uh -huh. Plus, I've known you for so long. I know your weak uh, spots. Uh -huh. I know your 
sensitive areas, and oh. I can push the trigger whenever I want. You're a masseuse that's worked on me many times. Do you get massages? You know, I don't, and I wish I... Because you have to expose your legs? Yeah. Or do you just leave your pants on? I'm fully clothed when I have a massage. I wear jeans. Really? I wear a heavy wool shirt, and I wear a vest. Um, it's a squirrel right there. If Talk keep... about having ADD. Right in the middle of the conversation. Oh, there's a Ooh, squirrel, squirrel over there. You're walking around. Oh, look at the garbage can. Oh, look Check at that manhole right look there. At manhole. <laughs> Are you finished with that explanation? I don't want to interrupt you, even though you're distracted a lot. So, so I drive all the way over here. You uh, don't have a driver? No. I thought you have a driver. I don't have a driver. Well, that's right. I so saw you come into the truck. Yeah. What's with the truck? I love it. Wait, what was the last thing you put in the back of your truck? I, yeah, I went to the store and I got some Mentos. One roll. You loaded them up in the back? Yeah, I loaded up. I lit up. I put my roll of Mentos in the back and took off. Yeah. Are you okay? You want to slow it down a little bit? You're huffing and puffing a lot. I'm huffing. I'm not puffing. Nicely You're done. You're puffing and I'm huffing. That's why we make a good team. Nicely done. That'd be a good name for a comedy D team, huh? Huffing and puffing. Huffing and puffing. Hey, I, hey it's huffing and puffing. <laughs> Coming to you. I breathe in, he breathes out. <laughs> Let me ask something. Do you have anyone you could pour your heart out to? No. So you keep it all inside? Yeah, but maybe it's supposed to be kept inside. My theory... Another theory. ...is that if we keep our demons locked inside, uh, it, it's, it's a great kiln for comedy. Do you... Um... Do you have, do you have somewhere an, to do go? Do you have a question? I do. Okay. Do you? Do you have? Because sometimes I sense you start, but you don't know where it's going. And I mean that in the nicest way. Well, I don't that, mean any, as you would say, I don't mean any disrespect. What were we talking about? Exactly. <laughs> you asked me, do I have anyone to pour my heart out Oh, that's to? right. No. Well, what, what's, why Lock are you, it in. Why are you Lock so... it in. I don't like this, this culture of talk it out. But look how angry you are because of that. Yeah, but then, I'm bitter. guess what? Guess what? What? The anger and the bitterness, that can lead to some creativity. Yeah, like jail? Like oh, jail time? That's some of my best work in jail. You know what? I bet you would, if you were in jail for 15 years, mm -hmm. you'd probably come out of there as a better talk show host. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I, you know, I never had the advantage, all those years I was doing late night, of being able to ask a question and then say, come on, let's go. <laughs> I never got to do I that. I like to keep the show moving. I know, literally, that's one of the great things about this technique of having people hike while they talk is, um, it really is. at any point, you can punctuate a question with, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's get at it. Let's, let's go. Yeah, I got it, I got it. You okay, no, you want to take a breath? I'm worried about you, I don't want to give you no, I'm good, baby, I'm good. CPR. I do this all the time. Okay. I think you're using me as an excuse for you to stop. Look at me. Is that what it is? You're using me as an excuse to stop? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, is that what it is? No, are you okay? You gonna be all right? No, no, I'm No one can you. see, this is- I'm worried about you. This is oxygen that you have back here. <laughs> and saline, oxygen you have oxygen pack. and saline. All right, you ready? You okay? Have you ever cried alone? No. How many tears do you have inside of you? All the tears that one would need in life. I don't think I've cried since I was like five. Come on. I'm old school, okay? Keep the pain inside. No muss, no fuss, no crying, no bawling, no kvetching or complaining. That's how I feel anyway. Well, because it's funny, every time I hike with you, it's constant complaining. Well, I save it for this. Yeah. It's all saved up. Yeah. What are you looking forward to in your life? I'm because looking forward to, there's gonna come a point where I this know will, you. Uh, this is gonna come to an end, and we're gonna part ways. And I'll Are you looking forward get to that? It, and I'll get in my car and I'll leave. In your truck? Yeah. Do you, have, do, you, do you shop for your own clothes, or do you have a staff that buys them? Do you I, pay for your own clothes? I haven't paid for anything since 1993. Is that true? Yeah, everything is given to me. Wow. And when I go to like a anywhere, diner, restaurant, if they bring me the bill afterwards, I look at them and I say, are you serious? I'm Conan O'Brien. And that usually doesn't go well. No. They say we are serious. Um, you're you're a B level at best celeb, and then I pay. But I always try it first. Yeah. Going strong with attitude. What about hotels? Uh, what about hotels? You ever stay in one? I, I 
You know, I don't know who you, does your research, but these are Cracker Jack questions. Did you, what do you expect? Have you ever stayed at a hotel? How many times have you been interviewed? Onions. Ever sliced right. an onion? That's why I am asking the questions nobody asks you. These are the questions no one's asked. Can you sew? This is good stuff. Yeah, I guess it is. Now, do you edit hang these on, at all? Hang on a second. I'm asking the questions. It's oh, my right. interview okay. show. Sorry. When you're at one of these diners uh -huh. or a restaurant, and I say I'm not paying for this, I'm Conan O'Brien. No. Oh. At a nice restaurant, let's say. Okay. Where they don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever send food back? No. I honestly don't. I'm petrified of that kind of thing. I will. I will drink the worst wine or eat the worst food. If something's rancid, I will not send it back. I'm. You don't care about expiration dates on food. I don't, uh, it's a different question, I suppose, but. Yeah, there's a lot of different words in that one. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Do you know anything about wine? You know, some, I suppose. Do you, like, Takes you... about five glasses to really start to feel good about yourself. That's what I know about wine. What's the thing you hate the most about yourself? And then I'll tell you mine. I think I let friends take advantage of me. So right. you oh. edit these, uh, yeah, I do, right? I do edit them. Okay, and what do you edit it down to? Uh, what will the air, the runtime be? Well, for this hike, it'll be like less than a minute. Yeah. I just try to find the good stuff. <laughs> do you know where we are? Say a friend calls me and says, I want you to do my interview show. Yeah. But I'm not gonna interview you. Instead, we're going to mess around with a drone for 40 minutes that was not and 40 talk minutes. for five. Wait till you see the results. You're gonna love it. Jesus, this is such a mess. You know, it's the first thing Lauren Michaels ever said to me. The farther we get from your face, the better. <laughs> You have trouble saying no to people, correct? I certainly do. And does that annoy your wife? I think she notices like, hey, Conan, you're supposed to take your son to the right. bus stop today and instead I'm with you. Because you're putting other people first. Yes. And instead of your family. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta keep it moving, pal. This is not a, like a, you know, one of those interviews. I would love it. Show. it. Think moves. about like a classic Charlie Rose interview show where the guy's talking to, you know, a foreign leader or he's talking to uh, whatever, a statesman, yeah. a great author. Sure. And he says, fascinating, fascinating perspective. Let's go. And then <laughs> he makes them get up and go. Well, the truth That's is, really funny. there's Let's no, go. nothing fascinating about any questions on this hike. No, no. Your answer. questions, um, and I say this as a friend, your questions are terrible, but, no, I mean in a good way, in a way that's sort of captivating. Uh, yeah. You know, and then um, the drone shots, I think you're gonna make this. Yeah. The fact that we spent most, most of the hike, uh, you messing around with a drone, it's like watching my dad with a VCR. <laughs> um, it was absolutely, it was a shit show, but, People are gonna love it when they see those shots. No, believe me, you're gonna thank me. And you're gonna apologize to me later. Well, probably for something else. Are you good at apologizing to <laughs> people? I don't know how you think of these questions. So the minute you say something, you just turn that into a random question, right? It's not random, it's all like, yeah. what do you call it? Train of thought. I just bought this hat. Do you like hats? <laughs> I'm gonna lean on you a little bit. I'm gonna grab onto this back. I'm not kidding around. And don't say me, who's your best friend? Uh, well, I was... You were on the list. You are now off the Look list. Look at that butterfly. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So, when did you have your first sexual awakening? Let's go. Do you believe that there is a power greater than ours that we'll uh, encounter in the afterlife? Let's go. <laughs> you fuss around with these, the camera a lot and the drone a lot. What if you had a tech person? Just one person who's not clearly not paid but someone who's helping you with some of the gadgetry, because you, you struggle with it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. And I, here's what, how I'm gonna answer that. Why don't you mind your own business? You're a very good <laughs> interviewer. 
Your catchphrase is, let's go and mind your own business. <laughs> have made you the best interviewer in the business, in my opinion. That's all you got? That's all I had. Okay. Um, so your catchphrases again are, let's go, uh, mind your own business, and is that all you got? The Kevin Nealon interviewing technique. If you're, when was the last time you were on a <laughs> <laughs> you hear it. What was the last time you were on a slip and slide? <laughs> <laughs> it's been six months. Really? Yeah. You know, it's a bad sign when vultures are circling your talk show. <laughs> Just telling you. And trust me, I've experienced it. Yes, please, excuse me. I have to take a picture with a fan. Finland all the way. Oh, from Finland. Hey, I need some Kroskankova. Uh, Kroskankova, yeah. Kroskankova, nice. Yeah, now, it's, where is Tarja Holland? Right, come on, come on, let's go. We got an interview here. Come on. Yeah, we got an interview. Hey. Do you enjoy interviewing people? I don't get that sense. I enjoy interviewing you because, I, like I said, I know your triggers and I know your insecurities, which are just about everything. <laughs> so, interviewing me is like throwing a ping pong ball into a room filled with mouse traps. You just watch them all go off. Yeah. The ball shoots around the room, yeah. right? That's right. Speaking of that, do you uh, like ping pong? You know, I've seen your technique now. You take the last word someone no, says. That was a mousetrap was the last word. <laughs> Nicely done. Did you ever get your finger caught in a mousetrap? <laughs> you know what I love too? No one drops an area quicker than you. So, uh, I swear to you. So, when's the last time you broke a bone? And then if they don't, you don't get anything immediately. It's, do you ever make an animal balloon? Uh, you know have you ever I'm melted fudge and put it on your left hand? Can I get a word in? Yeah, sure, please. <laughs> Thank you, Conan. Wow, that was fun. And we did not even argue or, you know, bicker with each other. It was just smooth, baby, smooth. Did we learn anything about Conan? I don't know. Maybe, maybe things you didn't know. But it was fun to have him on there. And he did not miss his talk show at all. And uh, to be honest with you, neither did I. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll catch you next time. Happy trails.